I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of all the students and teachers of Faculty Higher Secondary School to extend our warmest welcome to our guests of honor, special guests and parents. The pioneer cultural function of the school is an event that we look forward to every alternate year. But all of us were very disappointed when we could not hold this event in 2008. But we are all doubly excited today for this year's show. And I'm sure it would be worth the wait. All of you who have been a part of our previous functions know that it has always been an endeavor to put up as many children on stage as possible and this year is no exception. It is worth mentioning that more than 750 students are performing today in various programs this evening. The past one month has been a flurry of activities with our children and teachers gearing up for today. Everything that you will witness this evening has been performed by the students helped and guided by the teachers and mentors. Our institution has come a long way in the past 28 years and it is the dedication and sincerity of our teachers and students alike that has defined who we are today. Faculties have made a niche for themselves in their fields and they are placed in some of the most well-known colleges and universities in the country and abroad. We are indeed very proud of them. We are very honored today to have in our midst as guest of honor Mr. Shekhar Gupta, Editor-in-Chief of the Indian Express. Mr. Shekhar Gupta, through his incisive writing and talks, has influenced the mindset of policy makers in the most vital of issues of the state, contributing to the growth of the nation. We are so happy to welcome him here. We, have, we also have with us today Mrs. Neeman Gupta, who has worked selflessly amongst the underprivileged and physically challenged children through her NGO, Vishwas. And now she has successfully integrated a school with normal and challenged children in Gurgaon, a no mean feat. Thank you to both of you for taking time out of your hectic schedules to be with us here today. I hope that you all enjoy the evening program and thank you once again for sharing this evening with us. So I would not like to take too much time and would like to hand you over to our anchors for the evening who will take you through the day's evening's proceedings, Mr. Uh, Sanjana Mazumdar and Subhidim Chaudhary. Thank you so much for being here and have a pleasant evening. Thank you, ma'am. Once again, a hearty welcome to all of you present here. The Faculty Biennial Cultural Evening is about to begin. And we at Faculty have planned a cultural extravaganza, a feast for your eyes and ears like never before. So take a deep breath, soak in the ambiance and enjoy. from darkness to light. We begin today's program with an invocation to the gods, an Assamese chorus written by Dr. Nirmal Prabha Bordoloi and set to music by Mr. Rajeshwar Bordoloi, assisted by Mrs. Elu Das and Nivedita Chaudhary. It is performed by students from classes 4 to 11.
composition is Un Ke Chale, of which the lyrics and music are by Dr. Arup Kumar Sharma and
Ya ya terus gitu. Oh, my God. 
Come to earth and enjoy our next performance, our very own Bindu, choreographed by Deepshika Sarkar and Dhridipurna Das. Here are our budding talents, the tiny tots from the third standard. ভাবিছে <laughs>
After that good tapping number, we are now going to take you on a journey through a vast nation. Entitled The Great Indian Journey, written and directed by the teachers of the middle section. The choreography is by Deepshika Sarkar and all the teachers of the middle section. The props have been prepared by Pradeep Kay. Unity in diversity becomes loud and clear as we watch a teacher taking a group of students on a trip to the frontiers of our nation. Welcome to Virtual Reality. Shared in the Indian poem written since the time I laid my hands on its Nahuji. The impetual surgeons gave way to those experiences that drive the life force within many of us. And when we talk about the great Indian Odissi visiting all the Indian states, including the rich cultural heritage of each state, relishing the varied cuisine, and all these live an abiding impact in Korea in my mind. Unity and diversity, it is not just a matter of phrase or quotation, but these words are highly important to a country like India that is incredibly rich in culture and heritage. India has always been famous for its traditions and hospitality. The warmth in relations and euphoria in celebrations make the country stand out distinctively in the country. And now I shall take you to India tour to witness and experience and make you feel proud of this country. For all diverse in tradition and culture yet unify in harmony. Rajiv Farhan Yesh, are you all ready? Yes, sir! Children, we start from a song which has been one of the travelers' paradises since time in memory. A song with pictures, hills, and green meadows sheltering thousands of species of flora and fauna visiting the paradise. But, sir, what is a song famous for? Assam is renowned for its magical beauty and people living diversity. It is lush with tea estates, ranged with satras. It is a land of red river and blue beans. Sir, what a Buddhist culture is new to us. In every sphere, Assam is prospering and the Assamese peoples, by due of their honest and humor and relentless effort, have brought glories to the state, setting its name to the pinnacle of glory. Nevertheless, Assam is a land of fairs and festivals. The people of Assam enjoy each and every festival to the fullest, irrespective of caste, creed, and religion. Unleashing the cultural story of Assam, let me show you the famous jewel dance of the tribes, which has generated much enthusiasm among the dance lovers down the ages. <laughs> Superb! Sir, where are we heading towards now? Now we are heading to a place out of the world. It is 
one of the most sacred and ancient Hindu pilgrimage center in India. This place is symbolized by Ghats, Varanasi, the soul of India.
चाय चाय गर्म गर्म चाय चाय सब्जी comprising of the Sansis, the Kamaras, the Banjaras and the Pilots. Come, let's enjoy the Mela. for this particular brand, you know? Anyway, in addition to that, the Gandhi Ashram at Sabarmati is also a heritage site. Moreover, Mansham may be made of the Kite Festival organized in Gujarat, in which numerous kite lovers and literally participate in flying kites specially designed by them.
This is Mumbai. I am from Mumbai. Maharashtra is a vast state where the people of this colorful state are fond of different types of costumes and cuisine. Moreover, different forms of dances and music of this place have always left the visitors spellbound. Dabba wala gaya, dabba wala. Karma karm khana le lo. Dabba wala gaya, dabba wala. Students. Ganesh Chaturthi is one of the extra vocabularies of this place which has delighted many. So come, let me take you there. That is Bollywood. Hey, there's a shooting going on. Let's watch. Move up. Take two. Light. Camera. Action. Rolling. Hello, Sarva. Kitu deya, Mr. Sardar. No. What do you mean? We will have a khali hand. This is South India. I'm taking you to the famous Bulls festivity. That is Bona of Kerala. Bona Kerala. Yani ke kyaan ke kyaan hai bolo. What is it, Abhi sir? You can speak in English also. Can I have a coconut, please? What do you want? Coconut water. Hey, you know, children. Southern people make many things, including coir from the coconut tree. Come, let me show you. Tamil Nadu is even famous for temples. It is also home to several distinct dance forms, the Kodi Atchum, Kuchipudi, Kathakali, Moni Atchum, and Bharat Natyam. Sir, let's enjoy one of these dance forms. Yes, come on.
Excuse me, this is Miss Penguin. Did you 